Hello and welcome to another episode of Simple Cryptocurrency Reviews presented by Cryptos2018. Guys, thank you very very much for voting in my very first Twitter poll on which video I should be covering next in terms of projects on the NEO blockchain. Yes, 100% of the votes went to NKN, which stands for New Kind of Network. Congratulations guys, those of you who wanted it are going to get it right now. And before I get started on my Twitter page, just don't, rem don't forget guys, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my Twitter page or follow it. Cryptos2018 is the tag that I use, okay, without any underscore. And as you can see here, I've also got a second Twitter poll ongoing at the moment, still 16 hours left to vote, so there's still time for that. And that is on which giveaway I'm going to be doing for my third time okay so for my first first giveaway was for affiliate tokens the second giveaway is going to be on uh, for the win token so ftw for short please check my videos for that guys and the third one is going to be either on neo name service which has the ticker symbol nnc or switchio which is the decentralized exchange okay guys so yes please do join my twitter page if you haven't already and vote in the poll thank you very much and also Keep in touch with all the news that I may post on the Twitter page. Let's get started. So as we can see here on CoinMarketCap, new kind of network or the ticker symbol NKN on the NEO blockchain. Right, so it's trading currently around 5 cents at the moment. As we can see, it's up almost, uh, well, 4.6% almost. Since yesterday, the total supply of this token is 700 million. The circulating supply is 184 million and the max supply is 1 billion. So that's how many they can actually make. Where can you purchase it? You can purchase it on a number of exchanges, BCEX, Gate.io and the decentralized exchange Switchio Network. Let's open up their website here, nkn.org. So guys, at the end of this video, if you're interested in accessing this website, please check my pinned comment below. Okay, cool. So what can we see here? Let's look at the introduction. Shortcomings of today's internet. Net neutral neutrality. The repel of net neutrality pol policy means that internet service providers can now book, can now block, sorry, throttle and prioritize content and services as they wish. Net utilization and efficiency. A huge inefficiency exists in today's internet since connectivity and bandwidth are not balanced between supply and demand. Ephemeral networking resources are lost every second. Deficiency of today's SDN. Traditional SDN, software-defined networks, need centralized controller, a performance bottleneck and target for coordinated attacks, paralyzing entire networks. SDN also lacks dynamic control based on real-time traffic and pricing. What revolutionized network networking and its business model? The third pillar of blockchain, by blockalizing the network layer, NKN is providing the missing third pillar of internet infrastructure. Just as Ethereum has done for computing files, Filecoin for storage, NKN will decentralize network connectivity and transmission. Decentralized Connectivity Exchange. NKN is the first decentralized connectivity exchange to handle millions of micropayments for millions of users in real time. And we've got Decentralized Software Defined Network. NKN is an emerging decentralized software defined network, SDN, at global scale. It enables network operators and enterprises to dynamically route traffic according to real time performance metrics and cost. Consensus POR and tokenized connectivity. Highly scalable consensus. NKN has invented a highly scalable consensus algorithm based on cellular automata concept and Ising model and has applied, applied it to the next generation blockchain and peer-to-peer -peer networking across millions of nodes. Proof of Relay. Proof of Relay uses signature chain as a proof of relay at all nodes along the network route. This allows a level of secure data transmission that is not only verifiable but also impo impossible to tamper with or forge. Tokenized connectivity. NKN's economic model will provide token reward for participants who contribute relay traffic for other users and in addition mining reward will also be statistically correlated to the amount of data participants help relay. That's pretty cool. Let's move on. So the ecosystem attractions. NKN is more than a new internet. Ultra openness. Any nodes can connect to our fully open network from anywhere. 
NKN will also nurture network openness through peer-to-peer -peer connectivity and scalability. Uberize connectivity. Individuals earn token rewards by sharing idle connectivity and transmission capability with this incentive model. NKN not only improves user experience, but also becomes more stable and attack resistant as more jo nodes join the network. Community co-build network. NKN incentivized individuals and enterprises to deploy new equipment, upgrade network infrastructure, enhance network capacity, and improve network connectivity and reliability. NKN News. So as we can see here at the bottom of their website, people, so um, their Twitter page is linked to, uh, to the social media section here, to the news section. And we've got the monthly reports as well, if you guys are interested in reading more. So these are between July and August 2018. And then there's some more information here. And let's move on to the team, guys. So this is the core team. Yan Bo Li is the founder, core developer. Okay, former co-founder of OnChain. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So if for, for those of you guys that are new to this, so OnChain is actually the company behind Neo and Ontology. Okay, so this guy is the former co-founder of OnChain. Imagine that, that's pretty cool. Okay, so core designer and developer of the blockchain system, DNA, open source advocate, Linux kernel, network, subsystem, code contributor. Zeng Bruce Lee, co-founder, strategy and innovation, founded multi-million dollar startup projects at Nokia and Google. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Led R&D teams across US, EU and CN. Expert on telecom innovation, specializing in strategy and business development. And we've got Yuleng Zhang, which is also a co-founder, core researcher and a developer. He's got a PhD in physics at the University of California, San Diego, in physics at Peking University in China, domain expert in cellular automata, Ising model and distributed information. He's a full stack engineer. And then we've got a few more people here. We've got the core researcher, the business development and compliance, business development and operation. And we've got an NKN advisor whose name is Whitfield Diffie, inventor of the public key cryptography, Diffie Hellman. And he's an award winner of the 2015 Turing Award. Cool. Other notable awards and honors for Diffie are that he's a fellow of the Royal Society, he's a member of the National Academy of Engineering, and he's an honorary, honorary doctorate from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now let's look at their roadmap, guys. So as we can see here, back in June 16th, um, 2018, they had the Firefox release version 1 on testnet. In August, they're going to have the Lima release v0.3 optimizing scalability and efficiency then in october this year they're going to have the koala release which is enhancing attack resistance large scale testnet sdk beta release in january 2019 they're going to have the meerkat release okay the full feature testnet with complete implementation and performance and they've got the main net schedule for march 2019 so that's quite a bit of a wait but you know as time flies It'll be around the corner pretty much. Further develop and improve NKA core system based on status of the testnet. And in June 2019, they've got the Narwhal release, which is the launch of the NKN mainnet and NKN ecosystem. So if you guys do choose to invest in this project, this is not financial advice. Keep in mind that it is quite a bit of a wait. Okay, so you do need to wait until June 2019. So yeah, until we see some real results with the project, as long as they hit all their roadmap here. Right, so strategy partners and alliance, telecom infra project, ONF, Cryptic Labs, Data Space, and they've got some investors, which is Block VC, NGC, Node Capital, Genesis, Fimboshi Capital, OKX, which is the centralized exchange, If Capital, and so on. Some of these companies that I've, I've never actually heard of them. Um, the exchanges that they're on, as we can see, Gate.io, LA Token. Now, guys, unfortunately, I don't recommend anyone. If, if you want to buy a token, I do recommend Switcho. It's a decentralized exchange. It's secure. The only problem I have with LA Token is that you may have your funds stuck. So if you guys are happy to wait for your funds to uh, when you try to withdraw them to be stuck for a few days, then that's fine. But keep in mind that they may be stuck. Okay, I have had a really bad experience, unfortunately, personally, on my very first... Uh, time that I've used this this exchange 
I've had my funds sto stuck there for four days when I tried to withdraw them. And I know other people have too. Some admins of, of some Neo blockchain projects that I, that I spoke with, they've had exactly the same problem. So guys, personally, I don't recommend them simply because the support right now is not the greatest. Maybe in the future, if they improve their support, it may get better. But for now, I do suggest maybe to look at other options like Switchio or Gate.io, for example, which are known exchanges and more trustworthy. Okay, let's continue on there. Free the bits, rebuild the internet. We always wanted. So that's pretty cool. And then you can see their Telegram page, Twitter page, if you guys want to access them. And you can even contact them directly to their email address. Now let's move on to some other interesting factors. So this, this is actually, okay, we've read all this technical information till now on their website, but it's really interesting because in their short version of the white paper, there are, they actually have some examples of how the new kind of network is going to function. Okay, so here's the first example, application vision one. Say, for example, they want to send files faster. You can ask neighbors for help. Okay, so Jim needs to send a large video to his colleague before five o'clock, but his internet connection is weak and taking a long time to transfer. Greg is nearby and has a fast and reliable network connection. Both Jim and Greg open the NKN blockchain application on their mobile phones. Jim connects to Greg's phone and uses Greg's high quality network connection to quickly and easily transfer the file via the NKN network at the same time. Greg also gains rewards for sharing his idle network resources. So as you can see here in the diagram, it's pretty interesting because it shows you exactly how it's going to work, how they're going to connect via the Wi-Fi hotspot with the ad hoc connection, Bluetooth. They've got different options here. And this is how they can send the files much faster from one phone to another. So yeah, that's really, really cool. Even though one guy has really, really low uh, connectivity, only one bar and the other guy has full, it's gonna be the same, it's gonna be fast, you know? Okay, and the second example here, internet service providers gain a new business revenue. So we've got the mining facility that these guys are going to implement and relay. Okay, so Acme is a small rural internet service provider in the middle western United States with a limited number of customers and ever increasing costs. Acme needs to find new sources of income to remain profitable. Acme chooses to share its network connectivity with NK, NKN users and earns additional incentives for data transmitted. Wow, that's pretty cool. So yeah, it shows you here how the relay works, goes to the Acme network and then the NKN traffic. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And you can also mine as well, as you can see here, the mining facility and how it works with the network and the NKN user using the connectivity. And we've got example number three. DApps will enable messaging without servers. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Jay has developed a great instant messaging app. However, Jay wants to avoid the high cost of hosting his application on a centralized messaging server in the cloud. Therefore, Jay chooses to use NKN's DAP Network Toolkit and P2P Network to rapidly create an application that no longer needs a central server. Jay's app will pay tokens to relay traffic across NKN network. In addition, Jay's app can also receive incentive tokens if the app helps relay traffic for other clients and applications. So basically it's a two-way service. I mean, Jay is gonna pay some tokens, but Jay has the potential to earn a lot more tokens if he's using relaying the app to the clients. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I'm not going to go through this. Uh, it's not very long, but if you guys are interested, I do suggest you read uh, you read the full uh, white paper here, okay? But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it that I wanted to cover, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed my video. And please don't forget, guys, if you're new to this channel, please like the video and subscribe and enable notifications, guys. Please do so, because if you don't enable notifications, you are not going to know when I'm going to post a new video. Okay, unfortunately with live streams, I was thinking to do a live stream as well, but unfortunately my upload connection is not the best. So unfortunately uh, it's lagging a lot, you know, I mean, uh, when the last time I tested a live stream, um, it took around one minute more or less. So after I said something, basically the uh, people watching had to wait about a minute to actually see my, uh, to actually see what I'm saying. So I wasn't able to reply back obviously to their message as well. And that'd, that'd be a bit of a problem if I want to interact with, uh, with, the, with the viewers. So the best way is via comments. Please do leave a comment if you have a question, guys. 
Please also don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Cryptos2018 on Twitter, as you've seen in my uh, at the start of this video, okay? I'm going to be doing more polls, guys, for you guys. And remember, I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways, guys. So every 100 subscribers that I get, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. If I somehow manage to get a lot of subscribers, I say 200, and I'm going to be doing two giveaways. So I'm going to decide on the giveaways, and I'm going to do them. Now, as you know, with the next giveaway, the third one, I've wanted you guys to choose to vote. So yeah, please do so. Please go to my Twitter page. I do have a poll there. Uh, I may do that in the future with other giveaways, but for now, uh, yeah, that's that's how I decided to do it. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for viewing my video, and I hope you look forward to my next one. Take care. Goodbye.